Unmanned aerial systems, often referred to as drones, improve highway operations, construction, inspection, and safety. Controlled from a licensed operator on the ground, drones speed up data collection, improve data accuracy, and provide access to hard-to-reach locations. In 2019, 36 state DOTs funded programs for drone operations. Many are reporting significant results. Utah DOT estimates the use of unmanned aerial systems can reduce surveying time by as much as 50%. It's also much safer. We did a job in Moab where we've got high, you know, 500 to 1,000 foot cliffs there and uh, trying to get a guy up on those cliffs is nearly impossible. We were able to fly that and get that data, then supplement it with LiDAR on the roadway, combine the two, and what would have probably taken over a month for our guys to survey, we flew it and did all the LiDAR in about a week's time and then processed it, so probably about two weeks. So I'd say probably about a 50% savings on that, if not more, and plus we got better data out of it. Utah DOT equips traffic incident management vehicles to help clear accidents faster when there is a fatality. You can clear those accidents in about an hour versus you know sometimes four hours on those fatalities. And then they have some better documentation than uh, a guy trying to draw it all on a sheet. If you actually got an aerial photograph that's all on there, they can see exactly what it is. Agencies have used UAS to evaluate mobility and infrastructure in emergency response events. North Carolina DOT used its unmanned aerial system during a recent natural disaster. Hurricane Florence pushed through our state and one of our primary focuses during that recovery effort was to look at mobility and infrastructure. We were able to use a drone to help monitor traffic on our detour routes. We used the drone to live stream that data back to our decision makers and our traffic management unit, and they could place folks in the field to help expedite the process of getting citizens out of those affected area, but also getting our responders in. A small investment to create a drone program can lead to savings as much as 50% for activities such as survey, bridge inspections, and rockfall hazard mapping. It's important to identify your mission, have your policy in place, then train your employees who are going to be flying the drone or UAS, and then last, choose a drone or UAS that's specific for your mission. To learn more about how unmanned aerial systems can help you increase safety, improve operations, and save money, visit the Everyday Counts website.